Metal Seagull's Dukilis video. By popular request, we're going to be showing people how we set up Duke props on our aircraft. Here at Metal Seagulls, we specialise in direct drive engines from UL Power. And therefore, the two main propellers we use from Duke are the Duke Swirl 2 and 2R, and also the 2X, which is intended for the lower horsepower. We go with Swirl 2s from about 100 horsepower through to into the mid hundreds and then with the Cobra we're able to go all the way up to over 300 horsepower. If I just come out a bit you'll see there's a big difference in size. The Cobra's a much chunkier blade to be able to deal with the higher horsepower. However today we're going to be asking these two young ladies, Caris and Laney, who've done their course at Duke to show us how to put a prop together. When you get your propeller, it comes in a lovely box with the blades, the nuts, the bolts, the hub, and if you've got a spinner, the spinner. In addition, you're gonna need a pitch setting tool. That's the Duke tool. You can also do it with a digital inclinometer. And it's a good idea to have a small torpedo spirit level. You'll need a tape measure, and you'll also need uh, a 13 spanner or whatever's suitable for your prop, uh, an Allen key, uh, this particular one on the swirl, it's that, um, the, the 6 mil. But depending on the propeller you've got, you'll need to get your torque wrench set appropriately. For this one here, it's going to be set to 25 newton meters. So the first thing these young ladies are going to do is they're going to come in and they're going to rough assemble the prop. You'll notice on the hub, each hub half has an, uh, a serial number and these need to be aligned. So when they put that together, they'll make sure they're, they're in the same way. They're also going to put the middle part of the hub together. So here we go. Come on, Caris and Laney. Let's put your, your learning from your visit to Fontanas uh, in France together. So we've got the hub. Make sure we put the middle bit in, the space that goes in the middle there. And that needs to sit in correctly. Great. And now we need to put the prop blades in roughly. So it's very important to realise that these large holes are going against the prop flange. And the smaller holes go to the away from the engine. So there we go. They've just roughly placed them in there. They're going to pop the hub on, making sure they align the serial number of the two hub halves. It's going to just lift the, lift the blades up so they sit in nicely. We're now going to go for a rough assembly. So they're going to be putting in the edge bolts. Now, whether you've got a two, a three, a four or a five blade, it doesn't matter. It's the same procedure. You get the rough assembly done. Now, when you're putting this together, just take your time, don't over tighten anything at this point. Get it all roughly assembled. We'll be back in a second when they've got those all roughly assembled. Okay, these wonderful young ladies have now finished popping that together and we can see each bolt, not tight, is just holding it. So the blades can't fall out, but each blade can be moved a little bit. Just get them up to an approximate, you know, give them a little wobble and rotate the blades a little there we go you might need to lift them that's it so they're not tight at all at this point we're now going to pop the the washer on the front uh, if we had a spinner we'd also be putting the back plate of the spinner in place and we're going to drop in now the bolts which are going to go through they just need to sit in for the moment ready to go to the aircraft what's really important here is under each head and tail we have a washer these washers are slightly domed and one side has markings on the side with markings on is visible here and if we had a nut it would also be visible there in other words the domed side goes towards the hub whether it's on the top or the bottom now What's going to happen now is these ladies are going to bring the propeller to the aircraft. Now, we've spent ages making sure 
that this prop plate is vertical. And now we've got the inserts in here which carry the load. If you just show me the back of the yeah. hub, you'll see here there is the space for the inserts to go. Now and it's much easier to miss the inserts there we go <laughs> if an insert falls out don't worry about it you can slide it in push the bolts in now you can't let go at this point or the propeller will fall off so now <clears throat> we're going to catch nuts and bolts on the back these bolts are a little long because there's other bits involved normally but this is just to show you so now the ladies are going to put nuts and washers on and they're going to get them caught up again not too tight but just to hold that on so we'll let them do that and then we'll be back to see what happens next you might want to just give them a little tug on the end to make sure they're well seated Laney and Karis have now got the propeller onto the front of the prop flange and Laney has set the pitch she would like take basically from the manual this is a starting pitch and she set this one to 24 degrees this now has to be put at 25 centimeters from the tip of the blade fortunately we have a 25 centimeter long uh, spirit level which we're going to use to first of all put this blade horizontal so we're going to bring the blade up to the horizontal here so this is going to come up until the spirit level is there and then we're going to pop the pitch setter right up so that it touches spirit level because we know that's 25 centimeters from the tip we're then going to come round and we'll see here that we are not at the right pitch so Lainey is going to go in and from the root, she is going to adjust the blade ever so slightly until she gets the bubble in the right place. First of all, she's gone in the wrong direction to show us how to go the wrong way. And then she's going to pitch it the other way so you can see the bubble moving in. And you know what? We all have to take time to learn. The, oh, that's pretty close. I think that, oh, look. Well, Squeeze it in there, Lainey. Come on. Use your training. That's it. Oh, that's perfect. Right, great. So now we have a rule. This is the rule here at Metal Seagulls. This blade now has a name. It's called Do Not Touch Me. <laughs> so we're going to remove the pitch setter without touching the blade. And we're then going to use the next blade. In this case, it's a two blade. So we're going to use the other blade to turn the propeller around that's it pull that blade round pull all the way through so that we can now set the second blade as long as we're not touching the first blade we're not changing its pitch okay always have a friend to help you we get it round and again we're going to use our 25 centimeters from the tip and get that blade horizontal we need this blade horizontal so that we get a good reference. And of course, we can't touch the other blade. So we bring that up until we've got it where we want it. Once that is absolutely level. Can we see the bubble there, Lainey? Your hand's not very clear. There we go. Now this time, Karis is going to come in and to fit the pitch setter. Now, if we stop for a second, we'll see a little problem here. The pitch has got knocked between operations. We need to make sure that goes back to 24. And again, this was done deliberately to show you what might happen at home. Make sure that you check that pitch. Don't just look at the bubble. And now we're just going to tweak that in. Now that we're there, snuggle it a little bit more. Ah, it's not easy. There we go. What we're going to do now is we're going to come in and we are going to tighten up some bolts. What we're going to do is we're going to using a star pattern and the Allen key on the front and we're not tightening them. We're taking them into snug just to contact. This is going to firm up 
the holding. So we do that one, then we go down to the one on the opposite side. Two ways of doing this, you can go in a star or you can go every other one. Both have the same impact of making sure we tighten equally. We're not going too tight, we're just going enough to lock it in and then we go to the next part of the star, that's great. We lock and we tighten it up a bit. And whilst we're doing this, we're also preparing a torque wrench. The torque wrench in this particular case will be set to 25. Let's get that tightened up a little bit and then we'll be back. Having snugged in, we've not torqued those middle bolts. We're gonna come back now and we're going to check that the pitch has not changed in tightening up. So having done the tightening up to the middle, not torqued, but just nipped in, We've gone back now to check that the pitch hasn't moved. If it has moved, we would readjust it. And then knowing now that this one is nice and secure and is good, we're now going to nip up these bolts before we go to do the other blade. So now we know this blade is good and it's nipped. It's not too tight, but it is not going to move. We're going to now use this blade to turn around to get to the other blade. So up and over and then we can use this blade to set the other blade and cross check that we have got the angles we like. So first of all, we make sure that we're level and then we get our pitch setter underneath and in place, check that it's still on the right angle. Fabulous, so now that we know that both are ready, we can now go to torquing the prop. We now check that we've got the torque wrench set to the correct value, which you'll check with the manual. And when it's at the right manual, you know, we've got a bit of cross-reference here, everybody's cross-checking, I like that. And then we're going to come in, and one person on the back's nice and easy here. And on the front, we're gonna come through. And again, if it doesn't come up to torque easily, we're gonna stick with our star pattern until we get the torque right. What you will find is that as you go through this, it becomes quite natural. There we go, working there. Now notice we are doing the, the center of the hub up first. There we go, just one click. That's it. And then we're gonna go round and we will then torque all of the bolts up and have a look. With everything torqued, the last thing to do is to take our tools away and now we're going to recheck our angles and our pitch, just as we did before. Always cross-check, recheck, double-check. If it's not right, you slacken off and you come back in again. And as they come on there, look at that. Perfect work, ladies. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you, Lainey and Karis. This is Metal Seagulls, having shown you how to install a Duke propeller. Just take your time, do it simply, follow the manual, check the chalk values. When you go to do your next flight, see what the performance is, and if necessary, adjust the pitch for optimal performance. We're gonna show you that when we're doing some test flights on another aircraft in the next few weeks.